Hi everybody, we're looking at indices today, which is something like this, five to the power of three, okay? Where three there is called the index, and five is called the base. Um, you'll hear this called the power as well sometimes. So five to the power of three, three is the power. What does that mean? It means five multiplied by itself three times, which you've seen probably before, so that number there is 125 in its long form, or five cubed, they're the same number. Uh, if you were asked to multiply something like five cubed multiplied by five to the power of four, what would you get? Well, uh, if you write out five cubed as five by five by five, multiplied by five to the power of four is five by five by five by five, you get five multiplied by itself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Five to the power of seven. You give this second one a go yourselves, please. Okay, uh, one way you might do it is to write out five by five by five by five for five to the power of four. Five to the power of six is one, two, three, four, five, six. Multiply by itself five times, six times. And then you'd say, well, how many times am I multiplying five by itself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five multiplied by itself 10 times. Some of you might have spotted a pattern. Uh, three plus four gives seven, four plus six gives 10. So as long as you have the same basis, you can add the indices when you're multiplying two numbers of the same basis. So can you try these four questions here, please? Uh, pause the video maybe, and I'll show you the answers now. Okay, hopefully what you've done is three to the power of three plus two gives three to the power of five. You've said seven to the power of six plus two is seven to the power of eight. Uh, X and X, that's the same basis. It doesn't matter that you've got a bit of algebra going on here. This is X to the power of five plus three, which is X to the power of eight. Uh, here, it's a little bit different. So write out this one long form and you'll see how to get the answer for that. So if you write it out in long form, you get two times x by x by x by x by x, five times, multiplied by four times x by x by x, three times. Well, two by four is eight, and then x by 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 x, that is eight times. Eight multiplied by x to the power of eight, actually, it turns out. Uh, normally you don't write that multiplication symbol, so that's 8x to the power of 8 is how that would be written. Okay, um, if it's division, I'm just going to show you something from uh, equivalent fractions that you would have done in first year uh, before we get into division. If you have a common factor, so 8 over 12 is a common factor of 4 top and bottom, one of the things you could do is say, well that's 2 by 4 over 3 by 4, and you'd say, well, I'll divide by that common factor, and I'm left with 2 over 3 to simplify that fraction. So as a general rule, if you've got the same factor top and bottom, you're allowed to just uh, eliminate it. Uh, so 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 squared, if you're writing that as a fraction, 2 to the 4 goes in the top, that is 2 by 2 by 2 by 2, and 2 squared goes in the bottom, 2 by 2, Look at the common factors here. You've got two as a common factor top and bottom here, and there's another two common top and bottom here. That leaves you with two multiplied by two is two squared. Okay, do it again here. Seven to the power of six divided by seven squared, or that's seven by seven by seven by seven by seven by seven divided by seven times seven. Common factor top and bottom is seven. And you're left with one, two, three, four, seven's left over, seven to the power of four. Of course, there's a rule here again, four minus two gives two, six minus two gives four. Okay, so when you're dividing um, numbers uh, of the same basis, so seven is the same basis here, two is the same basis here, uh, then you're allowed to subtract the other sets. Okay, so can you try these ones here, please? I'll do them myself in a second, just pause the video. Okay, hopefully you're saying four to the power of six minus three. Okay, four to the six divided by four to the three, subtract the indices, and that gives four to the power of three. <clears throat> you don't need to multiply that out, you can leave it in index form is what that's called. This is different notation, same idea, eight to the power of five minus two, that's going to be eight to the power of uh, five divided by eight to the power of two is eight to the power of five minus two, eight to the power of three. 
Um, again, the fact that this algebra here doesn't change anything, that's a to the power of 12 divided by a to the power of five, that's a to the power of 12 minus five is a to the power of seven. Uh, and do show this work when you're doing these questions, okay? Don't just try and jump straight from here to here. Uh, this last one, a little bit different. Again, write it out in long form, you'll see um, what to do. Okay, uh, hopefully you're getting something like this and you're saying, well, those Bs are common, top and bottom. Okay, so I'm left with just one B. Okay, and that's B to the power of one. We'll discuss that in just a second, or just one B. And then six divided by two gives three. Okay, so you're left with three B on the top. If you want, you can put a one on the bottom, or you can say B to the power of one. But really, that number is just three multiplied by B. Now, where am I getting that B to the power of one? Okay, numbers to the power of one are a little bit funny, as are numbers to the power of zero. So we'll just look at a little pattern here for two. Uh, to try and get our heads around this. Uh, two to the power of two is where we'll start. Two squared is four. Two cubed is eight. Two to the power of four, multiplying by two here with each step. Okay, it gives 16, so you can guess two to the power of five multiplied by two gives you 32. Working that same pattern backwards, you're dividing by two with each step. Okay, so what's two to the power of one? It's gonna be two. 2 to the power of 0, if you divide by 2, gives 1. And then if you get a negative power here, 2 to the power of minus 1, what's that going to be? Dividing by 2 again. It's 1 half. 2 to the power of minus 2, divide by 2 again, is 1 quarter. And 2 to the power of minus 3 is 1 eighth. Okay? And just with these negative indices, I'll point out that one quarter, well, four is two squared, so that's one over two squared. And one eighth is one over two cubed. So with the negative indices, what you can do is make it a fraction, one over two to the power of just the positive number. So two to the minus three is the same as one over two cubed. Okay, can you guys try and fill in the same table for three there, please? Okay, and I'll come back to you in a second. Pause the recording. Okay, hopefully you've at least got this much done. Three squared is nine, three cubed is 27, three to the four is 81. And you can see the pattern here is moving down the table, you're dividing by three, or moving up the table, you're multiplying by three. Three to the power of one then, if you keep dividing by three, is going to be three. Three to the power of zero is going to be one. Three to the minus one, or one divided by three is one third. Uh, one third divided by three uh, is one ninth, and one ninth divided by three is one twenty seventh. Okay, and then hopefully you can come along and say, well, that's the same as one over three squared. So the same pattern holds three to the minus two is one over three to the plus two. Three to the minus three is one over three to the plus three. Okay. So you might try these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions there quickly. Pause the video and I'll do them now in a second. Okay, hopefully you've said five to the power of zero. Any number to the power of zero you've seen here is one. Seven to the minus two is one over seven squared. You can either leave it like that or you can say it's one over 49. Uh, eight to the power of one, well, any number to the power of one we're seeing here is itself. Uh, so that's just eight. 12 to the power of zero, any number to the power of zero will always give one. Um, four to the power of minus three, well, that's one over four to the power of plus three. And if you want to work that out, that's uh, one over four by four by four is 64. Or you can leave it as one over four cubed. Nine to the power of zero is one. 17 to the power of one, any number to the power of one is just itself. Can I ask you as a final thing to go to your log tables, page 21 in your log tables, please. Okay, on page 21, you'll see this. A to the power of P multiplied by A to the power of Q so that's the same basis, A, the rule is add the indices, so A to the power of P plus Q. That's the first rule we saw. Um, second rule, A to the power of P divided by A to the power of Q is A to the power of P minus Q. So if you're dividing, you subtract the indices. That's the second rule we saw. 
Um, skip this one for the moment. A to the power of zero always gives one. Any number to the power of zero gives one. Okay, we saw that. And a to the minus p is the same as one over a to the plus p. So that's these negative indices always gives fractions. So you just make a fraction and change the index to a positive number. Okay, these other rules we're going to come across uh, again in the next video, but for the moment we won't worry about them. Uh, what I'd like you to do now is on page 327, could you do questions one and three? Uh, and then in class tomorrow, we're going to be working our way through the rest of that exercise. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.